Hi there, it's June Simmons with Online Sales Pro. And tonight is my night 99 of the Vincent Ortega Jr. 100 Day Video Challenge. And I'm finally feeling a little tiny bit better. Oh, so thank you guys for praying for me. Um, tonight we're going to do... Um, it's on gaming best practices. My mom's in the other room talking, and she's a little bit hard hearing, so she talks really loud. So if you can hear something in the background, that's her. But we'll just have to do it over the top of her. Okay, so this is an exciting time to be developing and marketing games, especially mobile games. Learn how to drive discovery, acquisition, retention, and monetization with Facebook. By the end of this course, you should be able to understand how you can best leverage the Facebook platform and techniques to market your games. Effectively bid for user acquisition. Generate awareness of your game. Acquire users for the, na for the game and keep them engaged. Maximize your player's value. Before we dive into gaming best practices, it's important to understand some fundament some fundamentals of advertising with Facebook. Please consider enrolling in the related courses listed below through the Blueprint course catalog before continuing. The ad auction, targeting custom audiences, we've done both of them. Targeting core audiences, we've done that. App installs, we've done that. App engagement. I can't remember. Brand best practices and creative. We've done all of it except for that app engagement. And I'm not sure if we've done that. Mm, I think we've done the app engagement too. Anyways, okay. So the game marketing cycle. Discover the game marketing cycle. An alternative to the acquisition funnel model. New opportunities and challenges. There are two big challenges facing game developers and publishers. Number one, discovery is increasingly difficult in a crowd mo crowded mobile app ecosystem. Whether you're aiming for app installs, registrations, downloads, or retail sales, the challenge is to rise above the noise. And then number two, driving retention and loyalty is vital since gamers have the advantage of choice with so many options, it's more important than ever to keep people engaged and loyal to your game once you have acquired them. Why choose, why choose Facebook to drive discovery, retention, and loyalty? More than 80% of the top 100 grossing iOS apps and top 100 grossing Android apps use mobile app ads. In fact, Facebook app ads has driven 1 billion app installs in the past couple of years. As the world has gone mobile, one in five minutes spent on the mobile devices spent in Facebook and Instagram apps. Game marketing on Facebook? The shift to always on mobile first cross device would rep world represents a huge opportunity for game makers. It also brings its own unique challenges. The traditional way, the funnel, the traditional way of marketing games can be represented by a funnel of player awareness, accus accusation, and engagement. Acquisition, maybe, I don't know. Acquisition. Anyway, game marketers traditionally spent advertising dollars on linear accusation and hope that it will lead to revenue from it. <laughs> I can't help but listen to what she's saying out there. Okay, so gay marketers traditionally spent advertising dollars on linear, linear acquisition in hopes that it will lead to revenue from an in-app purchase. However, one issue that may arise in the leakage that occurs is people pass through the funnel. The new way, the marketing cycle. Ugh. 
ad spend, awareness acquisition, leakage, leakage, maximum value. A new way, the marketing cycle. At Facebook, we believe game makers can use a cycle-based model to maximize their success. The phases begins with audience awareness, followed by acquisition. More emphasis is placed on maximizing leakage on the path to convention or conversion by driving loyalty and advocacy through persistent engagement. The final phase of maximizing value and monetization is done through ongoing re-engagement and leveraging Facebook's monetization platforms and negative and native advertising. Here's a little awareness, acquisition, analytics, maximize value and engagement. I see the little step on my stand there now. Okay. At the core is feedback through analytics. The valuable insight at every stage that drive the cycle. In this way you can consistently readjust your use of creative and marketing products for maximum efficiency and high and the highest ROI. And the next is on effective bidding. And I'm not going to do any more tonight. I'm going to do it tomorrow night. Just because I have to work again in the morning. And just still a little under the weather. And so I just don't want to push it. I just want to um, <laughs> take it easy. So thank you guys for watching. That was my day 99. Tomorrow is going to be day 100. I'm pretty excited. Thank you guys for sticking with me for for this night, this hundred days, and yeah, yeah. Thank you guys for praying for me that that I get better. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Thank you. Have a good night.